Are you tired of having to sell your knife in order to do trade-up contracts? Well, look no further than a site known to us all as Bitskins. Bitskins is a marketplace that you can go to sell all of your skins. And uh, no, this is not a sponsored video, even though it seems like one. However, you don't just have to sell your skins on Bitskins, you can buy them on Bitskins too. Now, this is the inspiration for this video. Basically, he's asking if I can make a video on no risk, no loss trade-ups. And now, there is one problem with doing no risk, no loss trade-ups in this current day and age that I quickly realized while I was researching for this video. Take a look at these margins here. If you can actually see, a lot of trade-ups just aren't profitable anymore if you buy them through the Steam Marketplace. As you can see, this will cost you like $20 as an input and it'll only give you like $16 as an output. So it's obviously not very profitable to do it this way through the Steam Market. So what's the solution you're probably wondering to yourself? Well, if you go to the Bitskins Marketplace and you use a select type of filters, what you can actually do is you can find skins that are a lot cheaper than they are in the Steam Marketplace that actually give you profitable margins for when you trade them up. So as you can see here, we're looking at the MP7 Nemesis, which is one of the trade-up materials for the Op Hyper Beast and the AK-47 Aquamarine Revenge. So as you can see here, these skins are all about $2.30 to $2.50, and uh, it's, it's they're not very expensive skins, basically. So what you can do is you can buy them here on Bitskins, and then if you go and trade them up using the regular CSGO trade-up method, once you get the skins, uh, and then you obtain the uh, Piper Beast or the AK-47 Aquamarine Revenge, you'll actually profit by a pretty nice margin. And you can see here that uh, if there is not enough instantly withdrawable uh, skins for the MP7 Nemesis or for whatever skin you're trading up, you can actually use the other ones and those also have pretty good margin. In the case of the Aquamarine Revenge and the Hyper Beast though, the Cyrex is actually not going to be uh, very profitable for you to trade up. Uh, so if you actually look here at the Minimal Wear Hyper Beast, uh, it actually ends up being about $36, I believe, and the Alchemy Revenge ends up being about $29. Uh, now if we go back and we look at the MP7 Nemesis prices on Bitskins, if you actually trade uh, the MP7 Nemesis is up, uh, the Minimal Wear ones from Bitskins, and you trade those up to the Alchemy Revenge uh, or the Op Hyper Beast, which are both guaranteed outcomes, it actually ends up being entirely profitable. And if you don't use the instantly withdrawable ones and you use the ones that are withdrawable over time, uh, it actually comes out to an input cost of about $23.42, which means it is a 100% profit if you get either the Hyper Beast or the Aquamarine Revenge from the trade-up. So here's a quick little graph to show you exactly what the input and output costs actually are for the trade-up. So now if you were to go to the Steam Marketplace and sell the skin that you got, on the low end, you'd make $25.22 uh, after Steam Marketplace taxes, and on the high end, you'd make $31.31. So either way, it's profit. So if you haven't noticed, obviously this isn't like fully guaranteed if you go into all the different math with like the fees on the Steam Marketplace and the fees on Bitskins and what skins go for on Bitskins and stuff like that. So it's a little bit like weird when you calculate all that stuff together, but what I will say is in general, that Bitskins uh, skins are going to be overall more profitable on Steam Marketplace uh, than they would be if you were to just buy the skins from the Steam Marketplace in the first place. So basically the way that you want to do this is you want to go to CSGO Stash and then look for a case that has two really desirable covert outcomes or like really desirable outcomes uh, in the lower tier. As you can see like the Danger Zone case for example has the AK Asimov and it also has the Op Neonor. Uh, which are both super desirable outcomes for covert items. They're both really nice covert items. Uh, they both hold really high prices. And that's also why the pink skins, in this case, the Phosphor, the Momentum, and the Deagle, uh, have you know pretty stable prices because they trade up to those covert skins. So as you can see, uh, it goes for about $4 for a field-tested pink, and it's about $40 uh, generally for a field-tested red. So if we go to bit skins, however, and we type in one of the pink inputs and you put on filters like instantly withdrawable or whatever you want for the filters in terms of like price and stuff like that you can do like price descending and then if you actually type that in and you pick what where you want for the item and then search it'll actually show you like lower prices than what you'd get on the steam marketplace uh, if you do non instantly withdrawable you'll actually find much lower prices than on the steam marketplace which makes it even more profitable as an overall trade-up as you can see by the video currently 
So this is my sort of attempt at making this video. So, so I'm sorry, a rag, because it's not really possible to do like a Steam Marketplace, uh, no risk, no loss straight ups. But I can give you some tips in order to make it uh, to have less risk and to make it to have uh, less of a loss if you do it through the Steam Marketplace in general. So let's get into those tips. So the first tip I have for you is to use a site called Trade Up Hero if you're doing this via the Steam Marketplace. Uh, basically, Trade Up Hero is a site that shows you all these different layouts of uh, trade ups that you can possibly do, and it tells you like the profit percentages and stuff like that. And they offer a pro service that actually gives you more profit in general. Now, there's not really like um, a lot of trade ups on this site that are very recent. Some of them, the prices have changed, and so they're not profitable anymore. And so you have to be careful of that, and you have to do some research into that. But uh, overall, it's a pretty good site. So just to reiterate, it's tradeuphero.com, and that's where you can find all the information on profitable trade ups. So basically, if you look at Trade Up Hero here, you can see that it has a cost and an average value. Uh, basically, what this means is one of those is how much you're going to actually pay to do the trade up through the Steam Marketplace. And the average value is how much you're going to make uh, after you do the trade up uh, generally over a certain amount of times. So it's the average. So basically, if you did the trade up four times, the average value would be $34. If you did it five times, it would be $34. Uh, that does not mean that... If you do it one time, it'll get this average, or if you do it two times, you'll get this average. You have to do it a certain amount of times to get this average. So basically, the site is designed to give you profitable trade-ups uh, for trade-ups that you do multiple times. So you got to make sure that you do the trade-up multiple times in order to fully realize all of the profit. I just sent her some information here, but basically, the second tip is to go to the Steam Marketplace and use buy orders. Basically, a buy order is where you can choose how much you want to pay for an item at a certain quantity, and this will allow you to basically turn the tides in your favor and make the most profitable trade up. Just remember that it's one of the most important things to wait for time. So on BitSkins, you have to wait for a certain amount of time to withdraw the skins at a better price. Or on the Steam Marketplace, you have to wait a certain amount of time for your buy order to go through. Basically, if you want to have the most amount of profit, you have to wait the most amount of time. And time is very important here. I know from personal experience that someone will eventually come through and quick sell their items for lower prices, which means you will get more profit in the end. So just remember to utilize time as much as you possibly can in order to make the most profit that you possibly want to make. So I'm sorry to a rag, but this is probably the best way you can make a video on doing a no risk, no loss trade up. Uh, there doesn't really exist a single trade up or multiple trade ups right now that are actually no risk, no loss if you do it through the Steam Marketplace. Uh, if you use BitSkins or if you use the uh, the method of using buy orders, then you can actually do a no risk, no loss trade up. That just takes a little bit longer sometimes or you have to do it in a roundabout way, but it does work in the end. So it is possible, you just have to use kind of alternative methods I'd say. So before closing, I just want to say two things. The first one is that I'm not sponsored by BitSkins. If I was, then that'd be really awesome, but I'm not. My channel is too small to be sponsored by BitSkins. Uh, so you don't have to worry about me being like an implant or anything like that. And the second thing about BitSkins that I want to say is that it's actually not an illegal site to use. Uh, millions of people use it every single day, and no one's ever had any sort of problem with getting banned by them, uh, by, by Valve especially. Uh, actually, there's been a lot of proof that Valve actually supports BitSkins and has worked closely with BitSkins to make a third-party sort of marketplace. But uh, it's not an illegal site or anything like that. It's not going to steal your info. You don't have to worry about that, at least for the time being. So that's my video on no risk, no loss trade-ups. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave me a like to let me know that you want to see more content like this. Uh, leave me a comment to tell me what kind of videos you want to see in the future. Or to consider subscribing to my channel. And uh, I'll definitely very much so appreciate all of your support. Uh, so that's my video, and I'm going to be signing out. See you guys later. Halo out.